Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out my Flash Fish solar power generator here. Or solar power portable power station. <laughs> so this is not a sponsored videos of sponsored video. I bought this with my own money and I'm testing it out. As you can see, I got my fan going here running off of it. And uh, if you would, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to ring the bell for future videos, you can do that. But I don't do it on, on other videos. But I'd appreciate it if you did on mine. Because it gets aggravating when people put out so many videos. Every time you look at your phone or your computer, it's ding, 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 ding. Somebody so-and-so put out a new video. I don't blame you if you don't click the bell. But I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. But anyway, we're going to check out this fan and this, uh, this uh, lithium-ion solar uh, portable power station. And I'm going to talk about this and show you everything about it, how it works. So let's get on with it. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the channel. And I told you that I was going to test this little flash fish lithium-ion portable power station. I was going to check it out, see what it would run, and this can also be charged with solar, so that's the whole idea. But, we're going to see what we can run with it, and we're not going to try this today, but this is another one. This is uh, 80 watts of power. This is 200 watts of power. So now I was going to see if I could run this fan off of this. I'm not going to run it till the battery runs dead, but I do want to run it just a little bit and see if it'll start up. It's plugged into the wall right now. So it comes on pretty good. So now I'm going to plug it into here and see if it'll fire up. So this is... Uh, this is 200 watts. This fan is 120 volts. It's not ideal to run a 120 volt fan off of this. It's better if you can get a 12 volt fan if you need to do that. And this one is also, let's see, I'm just reading on the back here. It is, um, it's a 0 0.80 amps. So let's see how many watts that is. Do the math. 8 amps, or 0 0.8 amps, uh, at 120 volts. That means this fan pulls 96 watts. This is 200 watts. I don't know what the startup uh, wattage is on this. But I'm, I can check it, but I don't know what it is. So, let's unplug this from the wall. Plug it into the, the flash fish and see if it'll run a 120 volt fan on, let's see, the, uh, the AC output right here, one of these. So let's just check it out and see if it'll work. I gotta unplug it from the wall first. Okay, I got it unplugged from the wall, and yep, that's the cord that goes to the fan. So now we're going to plug it in. It's got two outlets on it here, so I'm going to, it's not grounded, so I'm going to plug it into the one that's not grounded. I'm going to plug it into the one that's not grounded right there. And then here's the AC power switch. So I'm going to turn the, turn the AC power switch on. Now that's on. It says it's fully charged. As you can see by the indicator. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. The fan <laughs> comes right on. That is so cool. It's, and the battery's not blinking at all. It's not even doing nothing. It's just running that fan. It's not even drawing enough power 
I can't tell if the fan's on or not. Uh-uh. It's not even drawing enough power to make the fan come on on the, on the flash fish solar power generator. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get my little watt tester and see what it's doing coming out of here. Okay, I'm going to unplug that. <clears throat> of course, this is different from that, and the switch is running away and all that stuff, so... I got me a little power strip here. And I'm going to plug in down here. Right there. So now I got a little power strip here. And I can plug in my watt meter. Let's just see. I plug it in like that. Okay, and now, and this is new to me too. I've never used a watt meter, so we're checking this out together. So now we'll put the fan in here. Okay, so now we got all this going on. <laughs> so now we got all this going on with the, let's see, get this out of the way. There you go. I'll get a closer close up of it in a minute. Anyway, so now we're going to turn the power, turn the AC power on, and I'm just going to look at this real quick so I can see it. I don't see nothing happening. Okay, so the power strip's on, and it shows 111 volts. And let's see if I click on the watts button. It's showing zero watts. So now let's just see how many watts this fan pulls when it comes on. I hope you can see that. Twenty watts to start up. 20 watts. It's supposed to only pull 8 watts. Or 1 watt. So that's 20. It's pulling 20 watts. That is a lot. Don't show anything on the kilowatt hours. It's 60 hertz. 20 watts. That little fan's pulling 20 watts. Oh no. It's pulling. I just saw that as an 8. It's not an 8. It's a 0.32 amps. 0.32 amps. Volts. It's pulling 100 and 110 volts. So that's pretty good. That's that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. You can see all that going on and the battery's not going down, the fan's running. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. I didn't know that it would do that. So that's the lithium ion batteries and the flash fish. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can make sure you can see all this. These cords are kind of You can see all that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> ah. So next, I've got a little refrigerator in my van. I'm going to check that out and see how it works. But it's a 12 volt. So there's no way of me hooking this up to check and see what the watts and the amps and all that is. Let's see if it settled down any. 20 watts is 0.32 amps and it says 0.80 amps on here so I guess that's at high speed let's check it out let's check it out so so it's at 32 now I hope you can see that I can't see 
I'm going to crank it up one notch. That's on medium. Now let's see what it's doing. Well, it's doing 0.45. Hope you can see that. We'll go to high now. It's 0.59. So that's a half amp. That's how many watts it's pulling. 34 watts. 34 watts of my 200 watts. That's what it's pulling now. So that's pretty good.